Hey, how's it going everyone? Just want to do a video. I'm going to call it um, being numb and dumb to this, uh, this society, this world that we live in. And I've done another video related to this <clears throat> where I was referencing a YouTube channel that I subscribe to um, on my more lighthearted side, I guess, called Losing All Hope Was Freedom. And, um, you know, just documenting how in the last five or six months that, um, you know, that sentiment has kind of, you know, um, gone deep, you know, within, within me and, um, ha has been, you know, comforting. So, you know, it's obviously whenever a person thinks of losing, that usually is not comforting. And then losing all hope usually doesn't strike, um, conjure up ideas of being comforting, but, um, there, there is a freedom to it. Um, you know, and, uh, it's, uh, it, it is a little bit, it is obviously hopelessness and, um, but I think in, in many ways, what I've realized, and in, in particular with the, with the ball earth and flat earth thing that I wanted to come with that angle in this video, is that to me, it's, it's okay to, to admit that, um, that we've lost. And, um, and, and there, there's, you know, I don't, I don't think it's, um, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, putting this video out there in any way to, to give up or to not, you know, pursue truth or to like, um, or if you feel like you've, you've proved it to yourself or, or whatever, to keep solidifying it and sharing it and all that, you know, keep doing that. But in the grand scheme of things, we know that, that this baller stuff, there's more ballers out there and, um, they, they've won, you know, for a deception to happen like this, for those of us that, that are on the flatter side, it's, um, it's sophisticated, you know, and it's, and obviously has to be on a, on a large scale for it to happen by definition. So, They've won and they're not they're not going to lose, you know, and I think that that's um, that's OK. Um, and I think that I've 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 realized that and, um, you know, and uh, coming to an understanding of that to me is actually, um, you know, very, very important um, in this whole thing. Um, again, like I said, that doesn't mean, you know, just you stop in your tracks. Like, obviously, the growth of it is, is very, very important. And, um, you know, sharing it to me is uh, a very valuable tool you know, and bringing uh, a small amount of hope back to, you know, God's children. So it's, it's a, it's very worthwhile, but it, it is okay to concede defeat, you know, in, in the, in the grand, grand scheme of things, you know, and I've done videos and many thoughts on how, you know, God is orchestrating this deception and he, he did this to us. If, if we're to be mad at anybody, it's not, you know, any individual or, or individuals on this earth. Um, God is responsible for this if you have an issue with it. And um, that's that's a very important thing that also has given me, um, you know, a lot of peace. But I wanted to talk about, so that's the sort of, I would say, the numb part in the sense that, you know, there's no like more getting rattled, you know. It's like when you, it's kind of like when you've been beaten down or you've just, you know, lost uh, enough, you just kind of get numb to losing. You just get used to it, you know. You take enough L's, you know, for... Uh, speaking informally um, and then that that's uh, it, it just makes you numb to it and then it's okay so the the numb and dumbing part to me this is just a, again a word of encouragement it may not really be relevant to other people but it's uh, it's very freeing you know and I think that again it would be really cool if I first of all knew even some of the things that I that I knew now uh, at a younger age again I think it would have drove me more crazy because um, I would have challenged everything but um, it, it, if I had this mindset at an earlier age, it would have been very powerful in my life where I literally don't care, you know, what people think and, and not just that, which is one thing for people to say that, but in a way I'm almost like actively hoping people that I disagree with, um, view me in a negative way, you know? And I think that as long as I'm not doing it like over the top and it's like expending energy, but I literally am almost putting myself in a position on purpose where I want people who I know disagree with me to, you know, re reject me, you know, and um, even in the corporate world, uh, to, to be totally honest, I and I people, you know, my family will um, co-sign this, that I kind of like sabotage things on purpose that I know that I'm not co-signing, you know, like I'll just, you know, if you look at my work history, it's very brief. I'll go there within six months, I'll, I'll get bored. I'll know that I'm one of many zombies and, um, 
I'll leave, <laughs> you know, and I'll just, I literally just, my stomach can't function if I, or, or my body can't function, my gut, you know, I just, uh, I just don't operate in, in situations like that. If I don't feel like I'm being creative or contributing or whatever, um, if I'm just kind of told to just, you know, follow the script or just work a bunch of hours and just um, pretend like I care and uh, talk in circles and all that, you know, that's, I just can't do it. So I just, um, I, I will purposely almost like sabotage the situation. So it almost like gets me out, you know, and like, I've done a video on performance improvement plans, which I've had twice in, in my career. Um, once at Amazon, because they, they kind of found out that, you know, I was trying to change even like a few things, like some of the structure of the files and make things more efficient. But in accounting and finance, a lot of the jobs are based on inefficiencies. And then so if you bring an engineering mindset to inefficiencies in a field like that, uh, people don't like you, <laughs> obviously, because like, you know, they, they need their job. Like that's I, I didn't know that at that time. So I was like coming in there trying to like, you know, change, you know, different things and just add certain efficiencies and like questioning, why are we doing this and stuff? And they were like, <laughs> we're doing this to keep our job. Now you're going to have to leave, you know, and we, which is fine. I, I, I didn't know it again. Like I said, at that time, I learned now, you know, uh, in the last year or two, like what's really, really going on. So I've learned to try and work within the system, but I sort of like, in a way, I just will purposely sabotage things. So, you know, it's like, it's okay to like be rejected by um, uh, ball earthers. You know, that was my point. It's like, I, I, I want them actually to say that I'm not intelligent because with what their body of knowledge is, I, I don't want to be intelligent um, uh, based on what they know. I, I don't, that's not something I'm seeking after, you know, it's like, that's not wisdom or knowledge or anything. That's going, in my opinion, the opposite direction. So I want them to say, you're dumb, go, which would get me going in, in another direction, 180 degrees. I want to go away from them. So I, I will actively go and, and say whatever I need to say to get pushed in 180 degrees from them, you know, and it's just, it's just my personality and I'm just kind of having fun with it. But to me, I just want to let people know, like, if there's people like that, and to me, it's not so much the technical things that, um, may, obviously I, I, I don't believe that we're living on a ball for, for many, many reasons, but it's the, now I'm starting to kind of, now that I have a better sense of, of what is going on. And again, credit to Russian vids with all the encoding and all the deception, we can see that there is a there is a divide, you know, it's like, it's very rare. And I and I suspect it probably won't happen. Not even one case. If you were to ask a ball, uh, a flat earther about these latest uh, Thousand Oaks shooting and all these hoaxes and stuff. I doubt anybody would say right away, there's no way that that's a hoax. Like, they, they might say I don't know, uh, or they'll probably I think most of them would just be like, that's obviously a hoax. Like, the, you know, like, come on. But um, I don't think anyone would, and I literally don't think anyone would, who's like a sincere flat earther would say, no, I really think those are real. <laughs> like, you know, that's not acting. Those people have like gone through that. You know, it's like God's making it obvious now. Like, it's just, um, that's like, again, we wouldn't, they, they have money to make great actors. They don't have to have people like that. They don't have to have inconsistencies and, and all that. And just um, the same people at different shootings and, all this kind of stuff like it's they have like look at Hollywood movies like there are some things that are CGI that you might not even know like that that are you know I'm sure that's happened many 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 times in movies that things that we thought were actually real like the background or something or or whatever we thought that, that person was actually there but it wasn't and so they could make all these shootings and all these fake things real but God is doing this again to you know have another point for allow us to be divided and um he's he's doing this separation on purpose so to me it's like i'm starting to use those kind of things to like reveal you know what what's really going on here you know it's not the the technicals the the equations and all that stuff which are important and i like getting into that and i'm going to have fun with these people but um we know that once i mention that uh, or talk about anything related to that i get crickets like i got an email and i'm going to do another video on this in a second with a guy who's like, you don't know anything about physics. And then we went through a little back and forth. And then I was like, you know, I started asking him about um, these shootings, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, this keyboard warrior 
this uh, this uh, fighter uh, fighter for truth and uh, and knowledge and learning and wisdom and discernment and uh, all this you know just um, had the had the gusto to email me all of a sudden I, I get crickets when I ask him to apply that discernment and wisdom and knowledge to what are very very clearly crisis actors so this is this is again the playing field that we're dealing with you do not want to get compliments from people who uh, believe that we're on a spinning ball when it's very very obvious that we're not and and that's one thing because a lot of people don't know and haven't thought about it but it's another thing when people who make no comments about things that are that uh, deceptions that are happening in the world that are blatantly obvious um, I would like to hear the viewpoint of the, the ball of ballers not even as a community just individually on central banking the evils of central banking the way it's done currently where they're just printing money charging interest on money that was on buttons that were just pushed uh, daily um, who, who owns that money you know just uh, whoever's closest to the button you know it's like um, for first ones there you know finders keepers like how, how do we how do we decide uh, who, who's who's where is that money going where's the money trail you know what what are all these wars being fought who who where's the money going you know and if you start you don't have to go far like the, there's enough evil in the world now you like the, these people are totally lost like they ask what do you believe the unemployment rate in America is 5% where you know ask a baller that ask these people this because you know i'm not saying they're 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 all like not smart or uh, i would never make an extreme statement like that like they do honestly uh, but you know, we know that, that that's not the case. Like math is math, you know, like it, you, you may be applying it incorrectly or, or not never thought about the fact that gravity is fictitious, which it is. But, um, you know, there, there are intelligent people on both sides. But the issue of like truth of like, um, you know, what is right, um, what is virtuous, you know, education, learning, creativity, um, freedom of speech, uh, being open minded, all these kind of things. Um, they're, they're not, they're not the pillars of that, you know, and, um, we have to do the best we can to represent that well. And, um, but seek it amongst kind of our own, like seek approval if, if you are at all, which is not a good idea, in my opinion, at all to do anyway on the earth, cause it's, um, littered with a lot of degenerates. But in, you know, if, if we are going to, you know, seek any kind of, you know, approval, it's like seek it from people who are aware of what's going on in the world and the injustices and, and care about that. And um, I'd rather get that part right and get the math wrong. You know, it's ideally we want both to be right. You know, we're pursuing truth with intensity at all levels on all things. So, you know, there's no reason to be slack on any of that. Um, you know, and, and the Bible does tell us to, as best as we can, um, you know, know, know the full matter. You know, really dig deep, you know, because God is not a God, uh, if he exists, who would do things at a superficial level. Because look at what he's created. You know, this is not... Um, a one-layered story, a two-layered stories. There are stories nested within stories, nested within stories, and and it, and it goes on and on and on, and, and uh, generation after generation. This is a God who is, um, you know, ha has obviously a very very complex mind, but at the same time, his character and his vibration and his uh, his humility is um, makes him very approachable, um, which is uh, to me very paradoxical. But you know, the, the there's a lot of things to be discovered about this entity um uh that that i that i feel more and more is out there but um so yeah don't uh don't look to these people like um you know they're, they're even some of the like sort of homosexual jokes and like all that i mean that's uh that that's not something you you, you know uh i I'll, I'll leave it at that you know like that that's this these are again we have to interact with them debating with them exchanging ideas not a bad thing um, you can learn from, from, from any experience or whatever, but you know, these are not, um, people in my opinion that hold virtues that are virtuous, um, in many ways. Um, you know, th this is a, a necessary time that we have to go through and it doesn't hurt to, to run our ideas past them in many ways. Cause they're not going to give you a clear answer. It's like, I've been asking for a free body diagram for, um, a couple items sitting on a ball and I got like um, four or five people chitter chattering uh, you know oh should we hit them with the Higgs bosom or like hit them with this uh, type of gravity and they don't know what the hell's going on like they're just like what flavor of gravity should we give them it's like they're it's like they're deciding 
they're cooking up a recipe, uh, you know, oh, for, okay, for, for Shrag, like, you know, we might have to hit him with this kind of gravity. It's like, no, but for this person, well, we'll just hit him with this gravity, you know, like as a, as an appetizer. It's like, it's like how many gravities do you have in the kitchen back there? It's like, I'm asking for a free body diagram with like three or four arrows, you know, and like, how do I dictate the magnitude of those errors, uh, those arrows? Um, that's like, this is not like a, like rocket science, literally. Um, but it, the only reason it is obviously, cause these, these forces aren't real. Cause once they tell me how to make them, I'm going to ask them, how does that one force vector influence the other? Does it at all? Yes or no. And I'm going to start asking yes, no questions. And then they're going to start, uh, it's going to start falling apart really quick. So, you know, don't, don't look to these people for any kind of intellectual whatever. Yeah, they might know some things or, or have some understanding of uh, different things. Yeah, lots of people have understanding of things. You know, it's, a, there's, uh, it's not that complicated to know certain facts. You know, it's, uh, it, it, that's, that's life. You know, anybody can learn a lot of different things or be an expert on different topics. Um, you know, that doesn't mean that, that they're the gatekeepers for all wisdom and, and, and knowledge and all that kind of stuff. You know, there's... A lot of people who, um, you know, are out there that um, will will have a lot of this information and wisdom, and then um, be very, you know, uh, keen and inclined to share um, and, and all that. I'm getting like uh, I don't know if it's just like a, a troll thing or it's like I'm not getting like the the friendly ballers or, or the you know the the ones who know how to explain things, but you know maybe I've just hit like a, a small segment, but. You know, it's 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 really you know difficult you know to get a clear answer, and so you know to me there's some there's obviously something else going on here, and you know it's it's okay to be dumb to that world, <laughs> you know it's like I I don't want to get compliments from from ball earthers like in a way if I started getting compliments from them and stuff it's like that would make me like really you know wonder you know like what's going on here like I I don't want that you know it's like um, because. You know they're they're not they're not approaching anything with rigor. I just know that they're just like they're really. We all know that they're just making stuff up. So you want to be ridiculed by by people who are um, diametrically opposite or going in the sorry. In the, I would say a better way. They're going in the opposite direction. You know, uh, or they're they're just standing still. We want to be drawing closer to truth in all aspects, not just the shape of the earth, but in everything. You know, the economic system. You know, how could that be? more righteous because obviously it's satanic now food um you know education um religion um all that stuff everything um we we want to we want to know um what is um the most righteous the best way the purest way to to go about all these different things um you know not just science mathematics and, and all that kind of stuff so you know it's like uh you know i'm actively seeking the rejection um from you know them and um to me to me it's okay you know it's like let's have fun with these these guys and girls and um we obviously know that they're the the force of gravity is fake um it's very very obvious because no one wants to put pen to paper and actually show us the way it works because then once they put it actually on one of the guys is telling me to to me to put it down and then he'll tell me if it's right <laughs> it's like you know which is which is like mad funny because like that's essentially once they put it to pen and paper, that means that that's what it is, you know, and they're not they can't do that because once they do that, then we just pick it apart in like two seconds. And so, uh, again, just to like summarize, finalize people that, you know, are doing things or uh, not virtuous or not aligned with certain principles that, you know, are absolutely correct. That shooting is uh, absolutely a hoax. Like there's no it's a conspiracy theory like oh my god you're so insensitive how do you not believe god is making it obvious you know and and again russian vids is a great resource but he only even and, and russian vids i'm sure will admit this he he only knows a fraction of all the deceptions that are out there in the world there's way more like they're 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 kind of criticizing us quote unquote conspiracy theorists like oh we just we just think everything's a conspiracy do you know there's there's way more things going on uh, that are quote unquote conspiracies, which are just people getting in a room planning things that are uh, nefarious. Uh, that's happening uh, on levels that we don't even know, like, you know, and like, obviously, now more than ever, I believe and I know that it's God doing this. 
So God has conspiracies that are that are coming down the chute that we would never even imagine. Thankfully, he's telling us the main ones. Like I think, again, Mark of the Beast is one. But um, all this stuff, you know, like OJ uh, just kind of going through like a like a mock trial and like just just to like stir up, uh, the you know, uncertain or um, angst in the race, um, basically baiting a race war. Uh, which is also prophesied in in the Bible that's coming, um, and that was an early seed or foundation for it, and the Rodney King and all that kind of stuff. You know, we don't know about these things. Like you know, like th- these are all things that God is doing to stir up the pot. So there are there are those, and then there are potentially way more. <laughs> so like, you know, this is uh this is just a small drop of of um, you know what the the what God is is doing, and so. You know, these are these are things that, um, you know, we, we have to understand, you know, that as we as we live in, in these days that um, it's very important to, like I said, give credit where credit is due and know that God is making this extremely obvious, you know, that, um, you know, certain things are, are true and certain things are false. And um, he's 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 actually leaving the decision up to us. We, we cannot um, God is not going to like throw us onto one side and say, God, you tell me what it is. No, he, this is how we, how he does this. No one knows, but we somehow are sovereign and independent, even though God knows the outcome. And so no one knows the answer to that, how that works. But, um, you know, we have to choose truth, you know, in all situations and pursue it. And, um, you know, uh, the, the ballers just don't have the truth. <laughs>